So normally I would have some sort of like funny intro or a cool little edit like I did with other Chefy Wax, but I couldn't think of anything for Anna. So instead, I'm just gonna sit here and do a funny face because that's straight comedy. <laughs> Another erotic episode of Chef You Whack, and as you can tell by my jacket, I am dying in this 110 degrees for theming of this episode. What are we on a recipe? I figured in celebration of the brand new Honest Summer Showdown skin, say that three times fast, that we would just go all out for the theming for this new content. It's literally just crumbs. Today we're gonna be making Anna's um. Ali? <laughs> That's the actual name. So I have no idea what I'm making today, but we're still gonna have fun, right boys and girls? Hopefully, right? So like I said before, I never made, um, Ali? <laughs> Why I keep saying it like that? I know it's a dessert, but a dessert of what? I'm not sure. It has a lot of the ingredients that I'm used to. <clears throat> like milk and sugar, butter, vanilla extract, raisins. Pistachios? Am I making a dessert or a salad here? Now the only thing that I'm not gonna be adding to this recipe that Anna calls for are almonds. And the reason for that is, well, <laughs> natural selection just hates me. You see, at birth, I have the option of dying by processed dairy products or tree nuts. And the only time that I'm willing to die by choking on nuts is in the month of June. Let's get it started. First step, and the hardest step, is preheating your oven to 450 degrees. Ah, shoot, it was 425. I can't even get the first step right. And then get your baking sheet. Now, no matter what the government tells you, this is a clean baking sheet. What the f it, It's a clean baking sheet. It don't matter because we're gonna be laying stuff on top of it with parchment paper. And not just any parchment paper. After a year and a half of using non-name brand stuff, I stepped it up in the world because of all the profits that I made from Chef Uac, which is $5. CEO entrepreneur. Do that and line it up with parchment paper. If it's not perfect, that's all right. Neither were your parents' marriage. The main thing about this dish are these things called puff pastries. Now, I might be overthinking it, but is it literally just a pastry that is puffy? Puff pastries. You know, I'm not one to call out food companies, but uh, this doesn't look all that puffy. Well, let me just put it in perspective. This yo girl and this my girl. Now, you might be wondering what I'm pointing at. Well, nothing. Cause, uh, you at least have a girl. Now I'm not saying if I got catfish that I'm gonna be upset. I'm just gonna cry because this happens to me every time. It says to bake for 10 to 15 minutes. What is it, Anna? Is it 10 or is it 15? I'm doing 13. Well, that's cooking in the oven and you're dying because it's still 110 degrees and you decide to wear a hoodie while cooking things in the oven. Let's get a saucepan to mix the wet stuff with. Now we're gonna need a whole lot of dairy products. So do the overused joke that I use every time you decide to shake things up and start pouring some of the processed dairy product into, into your pot. God damn, that was not a good idea. Y'all saw me aim for the pot, but it's like, no. Bruh. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude, what's wrong with me? Okay, do it very slowly. There, is that slow enough for you so you don't spell? I didn't think pouring milk and now cream would be that difficult, but luckily I don't need a measuring cup because quick maths, two cups equals one pie. Can you open up? God dang. 16 fluid, eight cup. Yeah, two cups equals one pint, so you're just gonna pull the whole thing. Science technology gets me so high, but we got more stuff that we got to do. So pour the rest. I already did that. Now get one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and this is my favorite stuff, but apparently you can't drink it, even though it's so delicious. Now get a half a cup, only half a cup of sugar? I mean, I don't know. I kind of like clogged arteries. Oh shoot, I wasn't supposed to add the vanilla extract yet. Oops. Hey, I said I'm the number one chef, not the number one English teacher, okay? I can barely read. You know what's so funny about this cookbook is that it still doesn't tell you how long you stir it for. You just gotta hope and pray that you did it long enough, but not too long to where you make custard. People are always asking, oh, how do you cook so well? Oh, how do you bake so well? Hey, number one chef, can you teach me? No! I taught myself. You can teach yourself, too. You still won't be the number one chef, but don't ask me to help you, because I won't. Because I don't want you to be the number one chef. Because I am. Oh god, oh god. Uh, okay, so while that's cooking, we, we gotta get this one Snow out. Weed oh every my day. god! <laughs> Yo! She is sick, boy! Now this is a glow up! Look at this! Yeah, this is gonna go on top of you. 
<laughs> anyway, now comes my favorite part of any recipe, adding the ground cinnamon. Why? Because cinnamon is the only thing that brings me happiness in this godforsaken life. While also adding cardamom. Why do we add cardamom? I don't know. Like, what, what even is cardamom? Is it a spice? Is it a sweet thing? You won't be sweeter than cinnamon, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, that might be toxic towards other spices. Does it look like I care? Start stirring that- Oh my god, why did you just pop? Alright, then we just continue to stir that until... I don't know, it looks like chocolate milk, cause I- What the fudge is this? Go, 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 go! Oh wait, said to stir gently. I don't know, gentle! It is so hot right here! Maybe cause I'm wearing a hood, but I don't wear a hood and wore it and she lost an eye! I think I could survive for 20 minutes over a hot stove, but... Man, it's hard! Okay, so I don't know if I'm done, but I'm gonna say I'm done. So we're gonna remove that from the heat and let it sit over there and just admire our pure puff pastry. Like, look at how pretty that is. You wish this was you, huh? You wish this was you, huh? Oh my, oh my god. She's done, all right? It looks like loaves of bread. That's how you know you did it, right, boy? And then when you're still sweating from all the sweat, start buttering your pan. People say that boobs are the softest thing in the world. They have never touched a puff pastry. It's like holding a cloud. Let's start crumbling in the pan. It says get bite-sized pieces and crumble it in. Now, I don't know why you would destroy such a beautiful work of art, but here we are destroying something that is very beautiful again, not by choice, but because a woman told me to. All right, then comes the pistachios and the ra- and the raisins. I don't know if I'm allergic to pistachios, but we're gonna find out. The foot. This one doesn't even have a seed! I've been bamboozled! I just realized that I gotta do this individually for every single shell. Who the heck enjoys pistachios? It just seems so much work to enjoy a snack. Like, you could have the choice between Cheez-Its, where you just reach into the bag, or you could do extra work and pick out pistachios. See, that's what the government wants you to do, is put in extra manual labor so that they don't have to. Dude! I- there are two seeds! Why do they not include the pistachio? Now, let's get the- Let's get the raisins open now! See, these are easy. All you gotta do is open the package and just sprinkle it in there. Yeah! Yeah! We get more of this soft, succulent bread. Oh yeah, tear it up. More, more. Get the new one. Yes, break it. Slather it. Layer it. Then guess what? We, we add more. We, we add more pistachios. I'm actually kind of upset that I have to do this individually. These just look like mini avocados. Eh, I'm allergic to avocados, so if I die by eating seeds, then I die. All right, you know what? I think that's enough. Let's get a Another batch of raisins in there and start sprinkling it on there. Yeah, yeah, raisins. I don't even like raisins. Like they're just grapes past their prime. Like who would enjoy that? Just eat grapes. I still have no idea what I'm making. Like if you were to tell me, okay, put pastries with raisins and pistachios, I look at you like, are you sure? And who also named it? Um, Ali? Like whoever made this dish must have been named Ali, and they were like, here, I made this for you, and they looked at it like. Um, Ali, are you okay? And then it says to pour the mixture all over the stuff, which again, it's just another one of those things where it's like, are, are you sure you want me to pour liquid over this? Like, okay, I'm, oh my God, I'm spilling. All right, I, I think I think that should be good. If not, oh well. <laughs> and here we are. Here's our pre-cooked concoction. Um, <laughs> Ali, you sure? Whatever, no going back now. So just put it in the oven for 15 minutes and hope that nothing, well, burns or gives you food poisoning. Several bad puns later. All right, so it's been 15 minutes. Let's check on this. <laughs> Yo, hold on a second. Why is this so pretty? Yo, this cooked perfectly. Oh my God. I Look at the crispy brown outer edge. We got some char going on, but that's all right. That's just going to be extra crunch to our bite. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, here is our, um, Ali. <laughs> Always going to say it like that. This is a pastry with dairy products that is cooked with raisins and pistachios. Let's get just like a nice heaping spoonful down to the crust and the core. Oh, oh. Oh, she's steaming. All right, so now it's finally time to try it, so I... Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Hold on, hold on. It's good! Oh, 
Now I might spit it out in disgust. That was not it. I just, I just took a lot in for a mouthful. Pause, but like it, it was a lot. Uh, it's, it's good. It, it, it's really chewy though, like really chewy. So I describe it kind of like a, a soggier toaster strudel, which is still good. But it's definitely more on the soggy, chewy side. And if you like that, then you'll probably like this. Like, it's definitely good. Just be sure to take, like, small bites. Because, like, you don't want a mouthful of this sogginess. But it's not a bad soggy. It's just soggy. <laughs> it's very, very, very sweet, but not too sweet to where you're gonna get a tummy ache. So yeah, all my gypsum folk, let me know if you enjoy this dish because I enjoy it. Would I make it again? It may maybe around Christmas time because it is way too hot to be making this. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. More Chefy Whack videos to come. If you haven't gotten the Honest Skin already, be sure to go get it. It's an awesome looking skin. Some people don't like it because of the helmet, but hey, I I think it's a pretty good skin for Anna. But I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More watch videos to come, and bye.